Hi guys, Kevlar here. Today we're back in Stranded Deep and we're going to do a speed run, but we're doing a god mode speed run. So random world, but I can use god mode so I can fly and I can spawn items in. Let's get started. So I'm not going to be submitting this as an official speed run, it's just for a laugh because I'm using god mode. Just want to see how quick I can do it. Now I'll start the timer as soon as we see the day one screen as normal. There we go, out to the raft. Right, day one, time is on. So first of all, as soon as we get in, I need to turn the dev console on. That's on, let's hit fly mode on. First of all, let's just get up here and see if we can spot the aircraft carrier. Because it'll be good if we can get there straight away. Is that over there? I think that's just a big island, isn't it? So if I can't see it quickly, I'm not going to look too hard because we could waste a bit of time here because we're going to need to get the map out anyway to have a look for the bosses. So now let's just stop down here. We'll get a bed, save it and see where everything is. All right, so bed. Get a bed and we might as well get a compass out while we're here. Compass. Hey, okay, right, so let's save it and let's go and look at the map. So ideally we want the bosses and the aircraft carrier to be close to each other. Right, so aircraft carrier's there. There's a boss there. Uh, where are we? Here. Where are the other bosses? And the other bosses are all the way down there. That's a bit annoying. Um, but okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the aircraft carrier. So we need to go sort of west, northwest-ish. So I still need to level up and I still need to steal my fuel. So I do need to create some fuel stills and we need to level up to be able to create that because we can't just spawn in a working fuel still. Right, let's turn this back on. So my mode on, get rid of that. Right, let's pick these up. Right, so I said we need to go kind of like northwest. Right, so yeah, as soon as we get to the aircraft carrier, I'll start spawning everything I need to create the fuel still. And we'll need to create a few bits to get a level up going. There's the aircraft carrier. And then once we've done that, we'll go and fight the bosses. And we can get our fuel going while we're out fighting the bosses. So there's no crabs around here, is there? Good. Okay. So first of all, we're just going to need a load of sticks. So let's spawn in a load of sticks. Right, I'm going to need to shed loads of these, so let's just whack loads of them in. Okay, so I need to create some fires for the fuel stills. So we'll stick one there. Another one there. We need to level up to actually get the the ring round fires so let's just create a load of kindling till we've leveled up so we've leveled up now so now we'll get some rocks rock so we need a load of rocks to create our rings okay there's one there's the other and now we definitely need to level up more so i'm just going to whoops didn't mean to do that just going to create a load of spears because we need to level up loads to now get enough level up points to be able to create the um fuel stills come on don't make me spawn more stuff in to level up i'm gonna have to aren't i Just one more stick okay let's just get a load of sticks in actually rocks are there let's just do rocks and create stone tools Come on, yeah, there we go. I was going to say, we can't be far off. Right, so what do I need to create the fuel stills, actually? Let's get over here, get near them. Right, so we need um, plank scrap. So scrap, four of those. We need some clay. I think it's four or six of those, can't remember. Uh, we need a fuel container. What's it called? A fuel can. Jerry can. Then we need some sticks, so sticks, sticks, sticks. We need about eight of those. And we need some lashing, which I think is called rope on this list. Yeah, rope coil. Right, so I think that's enough. So let me just empty my pockets so I can pick it all up. Right, okay, let's load this up. Right, so, so we should be able to create our fuel still. There's one, create the other one yet, yep. 
perfect so we got the fuel still so now let's just get a load of spears let's drop all of this stuff that we don't need okay so spears i think is under n for new 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 refined spear hang on let me just walk away from that stuff so it's easier to pick up right so let's just get a load of those in right let's pick those up uh Oh, what am I doing? I need to start um, getting potatoes going. Let's do that quick first. All right, potatoes. Oh, I nearly forgot that. That would be a nightmare, wouldn't it? P, 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 potato. There we go. So we need eight of those. Stick them on there. And I have got... Ah, uh, where is it? Okay, let's just create another one. Okay, let's light those up. Get these cooking. Perfect. Right. Can we see my compass anywhere? There's the compass. Pick up the rest of these spears. Right, now I feel like there was a boss really near here, wasn't there? Um, but I'm going to just check the map again. Bit of a waste of time, but I just want to be sure I know where I'm going. Because I have tried this before. And it's always finding the bosses that really stumps me. Um, and I waste a lot of time flying around trying to find them. So I want to know exactly where I'm going. Right, so I need to go kind of northeast. And then when we've done that one, I'd say we need to go southeast all the way to the bottom corner. And I bet that's where I'm going to struggle. Yeah, this wastes a lot of time loading in and out now there is a mod to get the map in game but i'm not doing mods in this this is just god mode one day we should do one with mods as well i need to learn the mods though we need a uh, santeria 318 to tell us how to do that my mode and i said oh my god what did i say north west i think that's what i said this is my problem i forget straight away now i'm going northeast now because i kind of feel like it was northeast yeah good and this is where I need to be careful that I don't run out of daylight as well. Right, so there's this guy. He comes from over here. Where is he? There he is. Right. Come on, stay still. Now I do find, actually in god mode, even when you're in the water, they struggle getting you. So yeah, he's, he's just swimming around. He hasn't bit me yet or anything, so... Kind of like safe. Ooh, don't want to drown. See, look, he's right there. He's not okay. He got me that time. <laughs> Maybe it's not quite as uh, safe as I thought. Okay, he's dead. Let's try and get much of these back so I don't have to create more. Okay, cool. Right, so then I said, oh, hang on. Where's it gone? I moved away too quick. There it is my compass on there okay let's quickly just um get a bandage um because he did get us there need potatoes actually let's just do some spears as well while we're here let's just get a load of spears just so that we're stocked up yeah if i run out of daylight that's going to be the bit that slows me down um because we might have to leap but if i find these other bosses quick enough then we should be all right right so i feel like i said i need to go kind of like southeast way whoops hey oh man i crap at buttons i just picked up the potatoes wasting my time right so where am i going southeast so i reckon all over this way I mean, the fact that they're right in the far corner, we should be all right. We just need to find the edge of the map and follow it round if I can't spot them initially. So once we've passed all the islands, we know we should be in the right vicinity. So I'm hoping they're in this area then, because now we're in quite an open space. Ah, there's one. Okay, that's really good. Drop the compass. Let's go. Where are you? Okay, so it is a bit dark. There he is. Hopefully I can see him from up here, yep, yeah. okay. Now he can get me with his tentacles quite easily. You have to be really high up for him not to reach you. But they don't really injure you that much, so... Saying that, we don't want to get 
Who injured? He's taken a lot of hits. I don't know if when I'm too far away my hits don't count. I'm not very good at controlling in fly mode either. I think I'm probably going to run out of spears. Okay, we got him. Let's see how many we can get. Probably not enough. Right, so I'm going to create some more spears. I don't think we got enough there. Right, make sure I've got room for my compass. Pick up the spears. And we're not sure if this boss was the one on the left or the right of those two that we knew at the bottom. Let's hope we've got enough daylight to find the other ones. So, okay. We don't want to go towards islands. I know that much. Now, they were right next to each other, so it shouldn't be far. Okay, yeah, uh, this is going to be our problem. They were next to each other. Are we back at that one? So we're back at that one again. Let's just head this way. There he is. Really losing daylight. Hopefully I can see him come out at me. Oh god. Okay, he came out at me, but I didn't see him. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Hopefully the moon comes up and helps us a bit. Because I can't see at all. Let's try and stay in this moonlight. Okay, saw him. He got me. Yeah, I, I went too far. I need to stay closer to this thing. Oh man, this is terrible. Problem is, I should have thrown a spear then rather than stabbing. If I try and go and sleep, then I'm wasting more time. So we're better off just hanging around until we get a bit of light. Come on, moon, rise. Ah, all I'm doing is dodging him now. Uh, going underwater, I can't see anything. Why is my watch beeping? Hey, I'm quite injured as well, so I really don't want to get got. Really need him to be in this area. Okay, spotted him. Okay, I can see a little bit better now, but I just can't really see where this bloody shark is. Is that him? Got him. I think that's the first one I got him with. Okay, I've got two more spears in him. I feel like underwater is better view. If he gets me, I'll be dead. Oh man, this is this is getting silly. This is gonna take forever. Okay, got a good few hits there. Definitely underwater's the best way to be. He doesn't seem to be able to get me in the water, and I can see him occasionally. Okay, got two more in them there. Oh, there he is. Come on. Yes, we got him. Okay, good. That's ridiculous, man. That was a big waste of time, but um, yeah. Somehow, I need to get lucky and get them really close so I can be really quick and get them all in daylight. I don't know if I would have been better off going back to an island sleeping, but the problem is when you sleep, you often wake up at like 5 a.m. in the morning. And 5 a.m. in the mornings, pitch black as well. And then you have to wait around for the light to come, for the sun to come up. So, yeah, I'm not sure. But so far, 23 minutes. I mean, this is nowhere near as quick as I wanted to do it. Because uh, Speedy Deep's done his, like, speed run with glitches. He's got his world record one, which is, like, under 20 minutes. And surely, you know, God Mode, being able to spawn everything in, should be able to do it quicker than that. But I think the main issue I have is... That obviously I'm on a random islands map um, but I know when he's done his glitch speed run it's an existing world and he knows where everything is so I think that um, makes it quite a bit easier in those sort of terms that you don't have to try and find everything I'm a bit worried that it's not going to let me fly as well because I'm injured so let's spawn in a couple of rations which I think they're like cool Cans of beans or something on this. Yeah, beans. Let's just eat a load of those just to get our health up. Actually, I'm going to need a load of those for the, uh, for the aircraft. So let's just get those. So that's my food. Then we should be able to get some coconuts for the water. Coconut drinkable. So get a load of those. Well, they're bouncing everywhere. Right, so pick all those up. 
Right, jerry cans. I need one more can. Uh, let's just get a quick jerry can, uh, fuel can. Fill those up. Come on. Um, rubbish at this fly mode. Right, let's just pick these up just in case I don't have enough. Right, it should be enough now. Right, so let's get up there. Question is, do I have to go through the door? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Had to go through the door to trigger the end game bit. I mean, 26 minutes, it's not good. Uh, right, so, food. Okay, I'm going to turn fly mode off now because it's annoying me. Oh, shit. Okay, fly mode's back on. Let's get back up there. Okay, let's try again. Fly mode off. Right, food. Okay, that's stocked up. Then water. Huh? Ah, oh, no, I need to make flasks. Okay, that's silly. Right, so, uh, coconut flask. <clears throat> Actually, let's let's make them. Let's get lashings and make them. Because I'm not sure if the coconut flask is already going to be full. So let's just get normal coconuts and some lashing. Coconut orange, I think, is, yep, yeah, <clears throat> that's what I want. Oh my god, my voice is going. And then we want some rope. Okay, so let's create a load of these. Alright, that's got to be enough. Okay, fill that all up. Okay, done that. Then we can fill up the fuel. And then we need to craft our end game parts. Uh, which is story. Am I doing this right? Oh no, I need to go there. Or do I need? Do I still need to do that? I don't know. Don't know what I'm doing. Story. Right. Parts. Okay. So I do need to click on those. Story. Right. So we got all of our parts. Right. So that's annoying because I'm full. Let's drop those. Right. So what one's this? Just the fix that one. Um. Fix that one. Come on, fix that one. Come on, there we go. Fixed. Get out of the way. Right, okay, so we're good to go. Come on. Hurry up. Let me open. Yeah, it's done, mate. It's done. Yes, let's go. Right, okay, so I can stop the timer as normal when we hit E to launch. So I'm not going to waste your time watching all this rubbish because it takes forever, so... You'll see me when I hit E to launch. Let's actually see what the timer is. So the time's on 30 minutes and 40 seconds while I'm messing around with all these bits that I need to press. Right, here we go. A minute later, I think we're ready to go E to launch in a minute. There we go. So 31 minutes, 47 seconds. I can't stop the timer in time. There we go. We'll just call it 31.50. Right, so we've done it. Oh, that's way slower than I wanted. It's It was that... Um, fighting the Megalodon in the dark which killed it but even then I was I felt we were a bit slow even to get to that point uh, but we've done it 30, 31 minutes 50 seconds way slower than Speedy Deep's proper speed run with glitches which is insane I should be able to do this much quicker right three hours later time to crash into the other plane right come on where is it here it comes <laughs> And we're back in here. There we go. Anyway, so done. My first god mode speed run was very slow. I'm going to try again. We'll try and do it a lot quicker. But first go, 31 minutes, 50 seconds. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please do give us a like and subscribe if not already done so. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.